Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, we're going to talk about the self-talk that manifests love. And I'm going to divide it into two very well-known and actually very potent techniques that many of us are familiar with using. I know when I was manifesting love with my husband, I use these techniques a lot. So that's what I'm going to dive into in this video. Before I jump in, I want you to know that my newest course called Cherished is open now. The doors have just opened. And Cherished is a deep dive six module course that will guide you through really stepping into the you who is cherished, who is cherished now. We all know that it is our self-concept, our identity, who we are being that manifests our reality. And so when we take on the very deep and embodied and anchored self-concept of being cherished, we will manifest being cherished in our life. So all of the details are in the link directly below. There's also an option for an online cherished temple. It's an online event different than anything else I've ever done before. I'll just say that the details are in the link below so you can check it out now. Okay, so let's talk about this, the self-talk that manifests love. Self-talk, what is self-talk? Essentially self-talk is what's going on in your head, right? We can call it thoughts. Whatever is happening inside of your head is self-talk. Now there's two avenues of self-talk in terms of techniques that I think are very important to manifest love. One of them is the very well-known affirmations, and one of them is inner conversations. And these are two different techniques. So let's talk about how to do these particular techniques to manifest love. Starting with affirmations. What is an affirmation? An affirmation is you creating a thought in your mind that basically says you are the person who has your desire already. So we are affirming that we already have our desire, or we are creating thoughts that are implying that we already have our desire. But an affirmation is essentially you even celebrating that you already have your desire in your mind. So if you're using an affirmation to manifest love, the affirmation might be something like, I love this relationship. I feel so cherished in this relationship. I love being with my perfect person. I love how much my person adores me, loves me, wants me. I love feeling like a queen or a king in this relationship. You are affirming that you are feeling things. You are um, in the relationship. You are experiencing being in the relationship. And the affirmation is saying, I love the way it feels to be in this relationship. That's essentially what the affirmation is doing. That is a way to start training your inner world to feel more like the person who has your desire. And that's what we're doing when we're doing techniques. We're training ourselves to think and feel and eventually believe that we are gonna have our desire. We train ourselves by repeating different thoughts, by doing different imaginal acts and different techniques. So affirmations is one form of self-talk to manifest love. The second form of self-talk to manifest love, which I actually think honestly is more potent than affirmations, personally, that's my opinion, this is inner conversations. So how is inner conversations different than affirmations? Inner conversations is a little more of an imaginal act. And the reason it is, it's you imagining having a conversation with the person you love. So you're bringing in the other person into the inner experience. An affirmation is a little bit more mostly affirming for yourself. We can affirm for other people as well. I talk about that in Cherished. Um, but affirmations is more just statements. And inner conversations is more of an imaginal act. It's more of um, imagining that you're having a conversation and in this case, with the person you love, right? So what would an inner conversation be to manifest love? I did these a ton when I was manifesting my husband. I talk about it a lot in my course, I Do, which is also linked in the description below. That course is all about how to manifest marriage. But I did a lot of inner conversations. So what is an inner conversation? It 
the way I would do it, it would be essentially hearing my husband. And when I say hearing, it's all happening in my imagination. So it's not like I'm physically hearing, but I would imagine a man saying to me, I want to be with you. You're the most amazing woman in the world. I want to be in this relationship with you for real. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to be all in with you. I can't imagine spending my life with anyone else. I want to marry you. I would imagine him saying those words to me as if he was telling me. So it's more of an imaginal act because I'm really transporting myself into the experience of someone telling me that. And then I would speak back, not literally in my imagination, in this imaginal inner conversation. I would say, I love you too. I'm happier than I've ever been before. Yes, I want to be in this relationship with you. Yes, I want to get married. I, it's a conversation. And this is a very potent way to manifest love. One of the most potent techniques, in my opinion, you can use to manifest love. So self-talk, again, is essentially your thoughts, whatever's going on inside of your head. We have the ability to control our self-talk. When we're controlling our self-talk, which essentially just means we're choosing the affirmations we're telling ourselves, we're choosing the inner conversation we're telling ourselves. When we're doing that, choosing what's going on inside of our heads, we are therefore transporting ourselves into feeling like a new person. And as you do techniques like that, this more and more, and as you take on the embodiment of feeling like this new person, you will create a new reality that matches who you're being within. Thank you so much for being with me in this video. If you want to check out my course, Cherished, it is on sale right now, 50% off as the intro price. It's an amazing deep dive course for you to step into the embodiment of being cherished now. All the details are in the link below and I'll see you in there.